Guys, we are back in Freed Code Camp Intermediate Algebra Scripting, doing the bonfire sum all numbers in a range. So essentially what we're trying to do is we're taking an array of two numbers, in this case let's say 1 and 4, and we want to just add them all together, everything from 1 to 4. So 1 plus 2 is 3, um, 3 plus 3 is 6, 4 plus 6 is 10. So it would return 10 when you do 1 and 4. So they give us some helpful math.max and math.min sort of things to say, hey, you should take a look at this, and this might make your life a hell of a lot easier. And it turns out it does. So instead of having to iterate through an array time and time again trying to figure out what is the max value there's actually something that we can just declare right here so in this case i'm going to create a variable called max and then we'll set it um actually let's do let's do max might be a we'll say max num and this time we'll set it to the mat we're going to use the math um library and the math and then and in in this case we wanted to use apply and then null and then put in our array. So what does this do? So obviously, uh, but at this point, you should know we're creating a variable here. We're calling the math library with the dot max, and apply is a, a special type of function or prototype that is going to find the max number. Um, so you insert a null value here, and then the array, the array that you want it to find the max value of. And so, oh man, they did this for max. So I wonder if there's a min num. And when I did it, I just typed in what I thought would be what would work um, going off the convention and it turns out that this is exactly how you could find a minimum without having to go through this whole craziness of iterating through your own arrays and writing code and getting it just right and checking it and spending time more or less so we got our max number and we have our minimum number so we still need to be able to add them all together and return a result so how do we do that so um, the way I did it was I just did a uh, looking back there's a better way of doing this but I just did a uh, created a variable I set it equal to the range and I subtracted the max minus the min and the reason I did that is I wanted to set it for the for loop we're gonna write it right now I also kept a uh, total total variable this is and set it equal to zero right here and then now we create our for loop so that total variable is going to be there to keep track of every time we add a number so start at zero and then one then plus two so that's three and so on and so forth so in this case I actually set the variable I equal to one because the way I incremented the total um, I was always off by the first index if we did the other way around normally we start these at zero though so you see i while i is less than our range we want to and again there's probably um multiple ways of doing this but this is just kind of the way i did it um, so we want to take our total we want to add our whatever our current total is in this case is zero plus the min plus i so we're going to be adding the minimum value. So the the way the better way of doing this would probably be to just start at zero and adding whatever the min value is. Or actually, I guess you have to do it this way because not, you're not necessarily going to start at zero. So this is how I did it, anyhow. So we increment. We get we get the total range of what's in there. So we're right now from one to four, we're getting two and three. Total would return five more or less. And then we are going to set total equal to total plus our max number and our min number. And that's going to be it. We just have to return the total and we're good to go. So we run it. Max is not defined. Oh, this is max num. This is min num. And this is min num. And of course, um, make sure you do the correct variables. And let's run that. Cool. So as always, let's go ahead and put some uh, code in here uses math library to find max number in the array cool so next thing you want to do just control paste this and then do in our array uh, use to get range for for loop and 
total items, total numbers to be added. Added. All right, and here we do it here. Adding min and max to total, then returning. So um, always put comments in your code. We're going to be probably be reusing this on this specific site. And I hope you found this helpful. There's multiple ways you can probably do this. This is the way I used. And that's why I, I highly suggest you take a look at these uh, helpful, the helpful links because they really are helpful. Um, you see right here we didn't use array.reduce. So someone probably did and maybe found a better way of doing this. But at the end of the day, as long as you understand how to do it, this should have, uh, I hope this helped you out. So thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. And um, that, that helps out more than anything else. But as always, constructive criticism is appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That helps me out a ton. And I appreciate all the comments that I get and all the questions I get in the comments. And I'm happy to answer them. So keep them coming. And I'll see you in the next video.